and look at her beautiful big wavy chub massive head on them brilliant Well, welcome to a very flooded River Waveney. Uh, the sun's now setting, I've got to get off home, uh, but I'm very happy, I caught a lovely chub. So in this vlog, I'm gonna show you the tactics and a little bit of effort that went into it, and of course the fish. Uh, please comment below what you like and other things you'd like to see me do, and also be really appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoy, cheers. Well, I've walked a good half a mile through this sort of conditions. Hopefully it's going to pay off, look at it. And there's the gear I take with me, a little rucksack, a flask of tea, a little net, extendable pool on it, then obviously the rod and a bank stick. And that's it, nice and mobile, nice and light. Well I know you guys that follow me, you all know my favourite chub bait by now the mighty cheese paste that's my go-to bait I do use garlic meat and bread and obviously maggots but in these flooded conditions I've not found a better bait uh, I've done a video on making it if you want to see that that'll be on our channel uh, but there you go look at the texture nice and soft blue cheese cheddar cream cheese garlic pastry all those good things and that is hopefully going to catch us a chub today well, as you can see, cheese paste is ever so easy to hook. I flatten a piece off, a generous lump, and then simply fold it around the hook, leave the point exposed, give it a couple of little presses, and that's job done. Well, these are the sort of spots I'm looking for in these flood conditions, a nice little inside slack. And I'll position that bait there right on the crease of the river. And that's where chubs should be ambushing any food that's coming down in the flying water. A real good area for a bite. Well, my GoPro battery, unfortunately, has died, so you missed the bite. And here's a nice uh, little chub, probably around the two power mark. Pretty happy with that, actually, in these conditions. Just going to carefully unhook her and step her back. There you go, that's a good start. Always give them a bit of time to recover in the net. This one looks nice and strong. Lovely little chub. Hopefully, we can find his mum. You see how coloured the water is here. Oh. Off you go. Let's move on. Well, this is a beautiful stretch. You've got a big wide straight and it just comes straight into me where it bends around. Some deep water here, a lot of boiling water. It is tonking down here. And I'm just trying to find a little bit of slack and just hope there's a chub pocketed up there. I've got another two places downstream to try. So yeah, 10 minutes and keep moving. Well, this is a beautiful spot and this is why I come chub fishing just look at the scenery wildlife everywhere so many types of geese ducks widgeon egrets just stunning countryside the conditions are definitely tough today if you look in front of my rod you still got ice melting but if you're going to catch one fish in these conditions it's going to be a chub hopefully so we'll keep trying, got another hour left, and hopefully that tip will smash round. 
Well, there you go. There's the hook bait. I've just wound this in. You can sit, still see it's really soft, even in this cold water. So that's important that you can strike it off. Got a size four with a point exposed, and that's just simply link ledgered. I've got a little bomb on because of the fly is quite strong. Usually it'd be a couple of swan shot. Nothing complicated. Nice strong gear, and that's what I use to catch most of these chub. Lovely Wagney chub, five pound, six. Well here we go, snow on the ground, mega flooded conditions. I wasn't going to come out but there you go, so pleased I did. Beautiful five pound plus Wagney chub. Really long fish, really thick and yeah really good fight. Delicate little bite though on the cheese. Show you the other side quickly. There you go, look at them. I absolutely love these fish. And in these conditions, they've got to be one of the best things to go out for. Quick afternoon session. And there you go. Lovely old chub. Right, I'm going to slip her back now and get myself home. Happy days. She's had a nice rest now. Let's see her go away. There she goes back under all that cover.